It's a great honor on my part to introduce our guests of honor and awardee for today because their family is so memorable to the Filipino people. And their family has been part of the public attorney's office because way back 1972, the father of our guest of honor awardee has created the so-called Citizens Legal Assistance Office. That is by virtue of letter of implementation number one. Noong gini-deliberate din ang town bill, nagulat ako dahil bagaman nasa oposisyon nun si uh, Congressman Amy Marcos, siya siya sa talagang manindigan din at isinulong ang town bill sa harap ng mga nasa administrasyon. Pagaman hindi po kami magkakilala ni Ma'am Amy, nakita ko po ang kanyang pagsubaybay at pagnanais na maiangat ang ating kalagayan bilang manananggol pambayan. Marahil, ang unang mga panahon na Presidente pa ang kanilang ama ay kanyang nada na rin yung pagsisikap ng kanilang ama na maitatag yung silaw o Citizens Legal Assistance Office para sa masang Pilipino. Ang kailang angkan ay mapagmahal sa masa, mapagmahal sa mga magsasaka na kliyente natin, sa mga manggagawang Pilipino. Nung isang linggo na may dinalaw akong mga magsasaka sa Bulacan, ang sabi nila, mas pabuti noong panahon ni President Marcos dahil ang mga magsasaka talaga ay umaani ng sagana dahil sa masagana project. At noong kayo nag-lecture ng lunes, nabanggit ko sa inyo, Sana mabalik yung Green Revolution na sinunog ng ina ng ating honorary. Kung akong tatanungin, sa pagpili ng isang outstanding public servant, dapat balaybayin at pag-aralan yung kanyang naging paglilingkod sa taong bayan sa maralitang Pilipino. Hindi matatawaran ang pagsisikap ng ating honorary na mapaglingkuran ang sambayanan maging sa dako ng norte mula pa noong 1980 hanggang ngayong 2009. At kaya siya po ang nahirang ng Praise Committee ng Public Attorney's Office sa ayon sa mga batas ng Civil Service Commission bilang maging isang outstanding public servant. Palakpakan po natin ang ating honorary. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor on my part to introduce to you our guest speaker, our guest of honor for today, and our honorary Congressman Bongbong Marcos. Thank you very much, uh, Attorney Percy Acosta, for that very uh, sorrow uh, introduction and very kind uh, remembrances of uh, the work of my father and uh, my uh, sister in Congress. It's fitting that lawyers should be joined by lawmakers in this laudable convention and workshop for continuing legal education. For we both have a very special responsibility to ensure that our citizenry get justice under the law. I applaud the decision of the Supreme Court to require the members of the integrated bar to complete every three years at least 36 hours of continuing legal education. This is designed to ensure that throughout your career as lawyers, you will keep abreast of developments in law and jurisprudence, maintain the ethics of the profession, and enhance the standards of the practice of law. In the case of the public attorneys, I am glad to observe that this legal requisite is being met with the help of the public attorney's office. Since August 2002, the PAO has organized two conventions and workshops to offer our public attorneys free legal education. And this week, we see the third PAO convention and workshop. During this convention, you will undoubtedly hear, often repeated again and again, the term the rule of law. It is all important that the law be fashioned and administered with an acute awareness 
of the merits of the needs of society and the fundamental values that we believe in. This is the arena where the lawmaker and the lawyer meet out justice and join together. When I first became a member of Congress, I learned what law and justice impose on the legislator. I learned that first, a lawmaker must recognize that he is not above the law. Second, a lawmaker must provide unstinting support to the courts which administer the law and for the police who enforce the law. And third, a lawmaker in constructing legislation must observe the duty to give an honest account of what is practical and not merely a rhetorical account of what is desirable. To live up to these tenets is not easy, but I do try. The law must stand as a whole and should be obeyed as a whole. To a lawyer, these truths are self-evident. It is important that we all remind ourselves, as lawyers and as lawmakers, about these important truths of law and justice because upon their continued sway depends order and civility in our society. I see your convention and workshop as, as one such forum for receiving and renewing these truths and these values. I congratulate the Public Attorney's Office for this initiative. And I join you all in thanking the various institutions and agencies that have helped in making all this possible. I thank you all. Good afternoon.